Who would have thought you could grow a plant in a warehouse instead of a field? Without sun, without soil. We're doing it, and we're not only doing it on an experimental level, we're doing it on a commercial level. Today we focus on leafy greens. We believe we could grow anything. Our vision is to build farms in cities all over the world to allow everyone to have access to fresh, great tasting, healthy food all year round. The fact that we could grow plants using 95% less water, zero pesticides, as much as 390 times the productivity per square foot as a field farmer shows what technology can do. We're able to understand the plants better than anyone ever in the history of farming, and it's by the data. And this is why the relationship with Dell Technologies is so valuable. We are collecting all of these data points of what we're giving the plant. What spectrum of light? What nutrients? How do we improve quality, taste, texture? We're using data analytics and becoming better farmers. At the end of the day, it's about how do we deliver a better product to the customer. This is Aero Farms Baby Kale. This is going to be packed the flavor of kale. The watercress had those peppery notes. The bok choy is super juicy. This is what I love about Aero Farms is that it's like technology that's allowing people to farm better and smarter. And it makes really delicious food. The world needs a new paradigm of how we're going to feed this planet. Aero Farms is illustrative of what technology can do to provide more with less. I'm a third generation farmer. My grandfather was a field grower. My father was a greenhouse grower. And myself, I am a controlled environmental grower. In my perspective, it's just the next progression of our industry. We're farmers, just the new type of farmer. Plenty is an indoor agriculture company. We're taking a crack at a totally new way of producing food to feed the world. Plenty's mission is plants, people, and planet. We produce the best quality plants that we can. We give those to the people, and we help diminish the damage that we're doing to the planet. Tigers is our baby. It's this big vertical indoor farm that is highly automated. We're doing things that one have never been done before and growing acres worth of product inside of a basketball court where as long as there's electricity and water, we can create a farm. Tigris right now is using less than 5% of the water consumption and 99% less land. These days, growing outdoors means you're getting pummeled with chemicals, that you're traveling thousands of miles, that you're being picked before you're ripe, that you're being uh, grown to meet standards for shipment as opposed to standards for consumption. And so we add all of this technology around the plant so that the life of the plant can be as pure and as natural as is possible. The automation is not replacing the growers, but it's making the growers more effective. We are taking those things that may be dangerous and we're automating it so they're taking their years and years of experience knowing plants, knowing what makes them happy, and giving them a system to enhance those things. My mission is just to have happy plants. There's little tweaks that you can do in light, like adding a little bit of blue light to get a plant that has a thicker leaf texture that's like crunchier. You can use all of these at once at different times in the plant's life to create like the best lettuce or the best kale. That kale? <laughs> I'll tell you right now, that kale is where it's at. 
it is being grown with non-GMO seeds. It goes into the system, it grows, it comes out ready to eat, super delicious. It gets packed by people who are watching out carefully for the quality that's going into those clamshells. We actually explicitly say on our clamshell, no need to wash. One, because we grow indoors, and two, because we have one of the highest and most robust food safety programs out there. We don't spray any pesticides on our product. We don't need to wash any chemicals off our product. From the minute I walked in, my first day, less than an hour, I knew this is a place that I would want to work at. You know, you walk around, you see smiling faces, positive vibes, and I believe in, you know, that positivity is contagious. When the concept of plenty was first introduced to me, I was very skeptical because I've always felt that produce needs to be grown outdoors. That's where I was really, really blown away. I was blown away by the, you know, intense flavors of what was being grown and how, I'd have to say, how much better most of them tasted than some of the herbs and lettuces that I do buy from the farmer's market. People tell us, you know, I'm eating kale as a snack now. Uh, instead of junk food at my desk. Flavor unlocks it all. Flavor unlocks healthy people, flavor unlocks a healthy planet. We're not just consistently growing plants, we're consistently delivering that flavor. Growing things indoors, under light, you know, in this automated system, it doesn't seem like that, it doesn't appeal to our romantic notions around agriculture as a sustainable practice, but in reality, our farms are incredibly efficient. Down the road, there will be periods in time where agricultural production can't keep up with demand. The things that we're building today could be feeding my grandchildren, could be something that is ensuring, you know, the survival, the health, the, the well-being of our children and our children's children. We're farmers, just the new type of farmer. We're really rethinking not only the notion of farming, but the entire fresh food supply chain so that we can democratize access to high quality fresh food. My name's Irving Fain, and I am the co-founder and CEO of Bowery Farming. Bowery is on a mission to grow food for a better future by revolutionizing agriculture. We build big warehouse scale indoor farms that allow us to grow high quality fresh produce year round, regardless of seasonality and weather. We grow with absolutely no pesticides. We're over a hundred times more productive than a square foot of farmland. And all the while we save over 95% of the water. When you look at agriculture and you look at the agricultural system, you very quickly realize that it is the largest consumer of resources globally by quite a lot. But on top of it, the way in which we're farming is destroying the land itself and our ability to continue to grow. And so I got very obsessed with this question of how do you provide fresh food to urban environments and how do you do that both more sustainably and more efficiently? One of the things that makes Bowery quite unique and also really powerful and scalable is the Bowery operating system itself. The Bowery OS is really like the brains in the central nervous system of our farm. We are collecting millions of data points in real time and it's data that impacts how our crops are growing, what they look like, what their general health and quality is, even things like taste and flavor and of course yield. Now all that knowledge lives within the operating system and the way to do the work lives within the operating system. And so we have the ability to hire people and to create modern farming jobs from people who may never have grown a plant in their entire life. And so we're bringing jobs into these cities to grow food in a way that just didn't exist a couple years ago. At Bowery we're able to control the entire process from seed to store you're getting our product a day or two after it's harvested, which compares to traditional agriculture, where products are two, three weeks old, or even months old, from the time that they were harvested to when they reach you. And so it's not only rethinking how does farming work, but it's actually rethinking how does the entire fresh food supply chain function. We have now finished our second farm, which is 30 times larger than the farm behind me. We're building things that have never been built before. Been watching our team solve challenges that have really never been solved before, I think just shows us what's possible for the future ahead.